all explore different places. Experience the culture, experience the history. Finally went to the long awaited Jungfrau. We finally made it. My parents definitely had their first like kind of sketchy Europe experience. We took almost push to fall down on the floor. I think we just wait for the next one. <laughs> Sometimes a uh, day should not be spoiled by this kind of moment. Have a good day! <laughs> What are you most looking forward to in Switzerland? The cool weather. It's every Singaporean. <laughs> yes. Do you get hiking poles also? Oh, yeah, I have one pair. Oh shit, then I don't have hiking poles. I just yeah. use a tripod. Uh. <laughs> you know, use a tripod to climb. Young, your young is okay. I heard, I heard that those people who went to uh, Everest base yeah. camp, the, the wind is so strong, they hold up the stick, they cannot hold it straight because the wind is blowing, oh, so they are actually swinging it back. Sometimes if you go countryside, you, know, you have a bear and things like that, you know, all those, you know, woof. Yeah. If you're talking about countryside, it's actually to me it's in the wild. I don't know, I said, so we have to try, then experience, then you know whether I like it or not. Yeah. All right. Oh! Any last words? Have a good day! <laughs> <laughs> uh. So beautiful. And then we have face mask. Gotta hang up the COVID, man. The dragon's path. Whoa. Yo, this is so cool. So what's your latest discovery? Throw something. There's an ice stick or something like that. Let's throw it. You see it disappear into the clouds. <laughs> okay, right? And then I see it came from here. Mm -hmm. The shit. <laughs> It feels the shape is from here. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, see? Yes. Show you how to take out this thing. Uh, not as yeah. smooth as you thought okay. it would be. Alright, yes, like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too oh, sticky. Look at this. It's too sticky. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, alright. Enough, enough of play. <laughs> alright. We're coming to you from the top of Mount Pilatus. The peak height of Mount Pilatus is 2,132 meters. That's pretty yes. high. Just for context, we're in Lucerne right now. We actually wanted to come to Mount Pilatus on the first day, but the gondola was closed. <laughs> so we had to just, in, in the moment, just switch it up and go to Mount Rigi. Yeah. But that was a good day. We took the ferry across like Lake Lucerne. We saw the lake. Oh, we got on the old steamboat too. Yes. There is like a nice restaurant inside as well that you could like sit down and like, yeah. Like, I have no interest in going up mountains anymore <laughs> for a view. I'm, I'm interested to go up mountains just to hike it, but like, for the view, it's like, eh, whatever. No, so I've never seen the Swiss Alps before. Yeah, but At least I get yeah. a chance to come, come no, no, and see but, it. Yeah, like I'm saying, this one is a bit different, right? Oh, someone doing servicing uh -huh. on, the, on the gondola. <laughs> But yeah, this time going up to the Swiss Alps is different because it's like, it's open, like you can see the fields and everything. And it's so much higher than any mountain that I've been on. It's like, Mount Rigi was 1 1.6, 1, maybe 1 1.7. 1 1.7, yeah. 1.7 kilometers yes. above sea level. 1,700 meters. Yeah. yeah. And the wind is so strong oh, yeah. up there. Oh yeah, I'm Extremely not strong. <laughs> yeah. uh, I did not expect the strength of the wind when we were there. Yes. Uh, let's go! We're almost at the peak! Yeah. Oof, and then we're on the way down, we take a hike. A very short hike. I think the hike is only about one kilometer, but it's very steep down slope. So we'll go zigzag, zigzag all the way down. Mm. But the next day, we went to the Glacier Gardens hmm. and that was fun as well. Yes. No, but I like the part that's actually something like kaleidoscope, but it's actually a oh, history yeah. of millions of years actually, ago. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yes. I didn't think that the Glacier Garden was going to be like a more history kind of like museum. Yeah, I like the part of the geology is millions of years ago. The same, same point, yeah, millions sure. of years ago, how yeah. it evolved. Glaciers come in, subsided, become sea and turn up yeah. to be land and then the glacier comes and then glacier subsided, then loosen uh, the city built up and then you have the yeah. city now with, mm -hmm. with some establishment, you see. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Guess we can wrap up. Where are we going yeah. next? We're going to Grindelwald? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna wake up early tomorrow, head to Grindelwald. Yep. Right, let's go. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The light's coming in so nice. What a beautiful mountain. Especially when the light's shining on it. Very nice, right? The writing is wonderful. I went downstairs also. <laughs> <laughs> also, my dad's doing the Adrushi walk. Is that the slope that we're going to go up? Yeah. Alright. We're almost there. I think like the little grass field. This is a view. Yeah. And no camera. 
or any photography devices can capture. Fantastic. Ooh. Dang. Yes. So nice. Look at that. Ooh. That is epic. The way it's like glistening on the grass right now as well. Should I walk back? I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's walk back. <sighs> Hello. 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 Have a good day. <laughs> Man. Sometimes it's nice to just travel as well because everyone's just in a good mood. Yeah. I remember when I was working in the museum. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing I really enjoyed about that was just the fact that everyone's always happy. I mean, yep. like, generally, I mean, of course, you get bad customers, but generally, mm. because, like, people are here on holiday, they're just in good Relax, spirits, man. Uh. Yeah. This village is so touristy. Like, I mean, like, it's got so many tourist hotels. But that's not exactly a horrible thing either. It's quiet. It's comfortable. Everyone's in good spirits, man. Everyone's saying hi to you. I'm, like, running by. People are cheering me on because I'm, like, this idiot running up the window wall. <laughs> what a freaking view to run to. <laughs> I see the lighting just now, it's just fantastic. You can't miss this opportunity. It may come another day, but you will not know when it's going to come again. Yeah. Since the day. Yeah. <laughs> I was definitely like, not really wanting to go out anymore. Actually, I've always but... showered, you know. Actually, I want to lay on a bed. <laughs> but look nah, at this. But the it's sun was just too damn good. It's too attractive. Yeah, it's just You just too cannot good. resist. It was just too good. Yeah. Well, I think we can pangkang sumida. Yes. <laughs> we'll... It's very cool. We'll wake up early tomorrow and head up to Grindelwald. Let's no, not Grindelwald. Way. What? Jungfrau Yolk. Jungfrau Yolk. Let's hope the weather holds up and uh. we have a good view. You finally made it. Listen to the bird chirping. Oh, so good. Yeah, so in the view. Yeah. The Matterhorn. Matterhorn right in that's front of us. That's the Toboron Mountain for anyone that's wondering. Is it actually the Toboron Mountain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you take the Toboron chocolate and then just superimpose it, you know. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, do, it, I'll do it in icon, post. You know? <laughs> yeah, the iconic mountain oh. of uh, Switzerland. Dang, okay. Do you want to talk about your paragliding experience while we're at it? The best thing is, we were there the first day in Green Road. Mm -hmm. The weather is perfect. Yeah. Sunny day. Mm, and uh, at high side, that's uh, one of the only day that we can see clear sky in Green Yeah, we stayed in so, Green for six days. Yeah. That's our first day. 
we we met up at the main station at Interlaken. That we got on the van, the 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 pilots or paragliders or they loaded up, and then we went up some mountain. I don't know what mountain it was. <laughs> it just like <laughs> it's quite yeah. funny because like we we're literally like a bunch of foreigners got in like a random van and then driven off to somewhere. <laughs> But yeah, the paragliding experience was really fun. Like, it was smooth and calm. And I, I wish, like, because at the end of it, they kind of offered to do this roller coaster right. thing for you. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Wow. We go back. Whoa. <laughs> How's that? You like yeah, it? That was nice. Woo! I just went, I wish he went like <laughs> I, I think the first time we're going doing paragliding, don't expect too much from it because you might have different effect on different people. That's true. Yeah, so I think that's good enough. A, a few spin and then some, you know. Yeah, he didn't he didn't want to risk it too yeah, much. Yeah, I don't want to push it too much. Yeah. yeah. Let's go! Because yeah. he did ask me, is it the first time first time I'm doing that? Oh yeah. I said, yes, this is the first time I'm doing that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So far so good, sir. Wow, fantastic! Do it again. Surely, but I think it's a very good blessing in disguise that actually the booking was uh, being changed from from Sunday because we reached there on Saturday uh, at the Interlaken. Uh -huh. It was actually changed from Sunday to Saturday because Sunday their timings was fully booked. Oh, it would have been horrible if you went on Sunday because you literally fell sick on Sunday as well. Yes. So uh, from there on, it was just it. kind of like a. From yeah, after the paragliding recovery. thing, it kind of like went downhill a bit. Like it was raining for the next like four days. Uh, and it's like, it just never stopped raining. It just kept raining and raining. Yes. And my and you fell sick. Yeah, and I you felt had like sick. a horrible yes, cough sick. and everything yeah. like that. So if you had to go paragliding on the next day, you would have been completely out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll try to do something in the rain. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> we'll head back to our favourite visiting point in Grindelwald. That is a place called Coop. <laughs> yeah, I think we frequented Coop a lot. Coop and Migros is like yeah. number one attraction because everything is so expensive in Switzerland, we have to cook. Yeah, we have yeah. to cook. So they will go to Coop. We we'll go to Coop <laughs> to get food to cook. Uh, After those few days of like rain, it was finally forecasted to have like a sunny day. And we were like, okay, we were pushing back Yongfrau all the way until like a nice day. Almost because we don't want day. to go up to Yongfrau and see nothing again. Because yeah. that's kind of the point. You want to see something there, right? Yes. So we, we held it off and eventually we, we on the last day, we went to Yongfrau. Mm. And before we get to the good stuff, yes. I want to talk about the, the, best the freaking <laughs> cavalry <laughs> that showed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Of course, we weren't the only ones that were looking at the good weather. All the skiers from the entire like Switzerland Region. to Germany <laughs> were waiting for this one day. Um, uh, to clear up. Yeah, because it was raining for so many days and it finally cleared up. And so we were making our way and we live really near to the area that brings us up to Jungfrau. Mm. And right by that cable car that brings us up, there's a train uh, station. By the way, the cable car is called Eiger Express. Oh yeah, we, we lived right by uh, Eiger Express basically. Yes. But we had to walk through the train station before we get to Eiger Express yep. from where we stayed. So it was maybe 7.30. Woke up early, we were prepared, we were like, yeah, let's do this. We're going to be the first ones on the cable car. And then the moment <laughs> we walked past the, uh, what's train, it station. the train station, the cavalry is here. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so, suddenly so many people like showed up. Huh? Look at that. We were kind of queuing up, kind of not really. But then I started <laughs> to feel like people behind me, like, you know, like just like kind of shoving me. Not really shoving me, but they were like walking so close to pushing me that were kind of pushing me forward. forward. So, yeah, so. Yeah. At, at first I was like, you know what? Not a very I, good I wanted, experience. I wanted to just like hang back a bit so there's a bit more space so everyone can kind of space out because you know eventually everyone's gonna go up so it's like m my thought was just like let's get in line you know so I'm just kind of getting in line give a bit of space for my mom so she doesn't like no one feels like we're being pushed around but everyone behind me was pushing me forward and at that point I just like I just told my mom like you know what let them go just, first just go first you know we're gonna go up anyways like everyone's yeah. gonna get up 
Look at that. I think we just wait for the next one. Oh. When I was up there, actually, it's just we we're just go coming down, mm. and then the there are a group of people that's coming in. Yeah. I turned my back to look for mommy and you all. Yeah. and I was literally almost pushed to be to fall down on the floor. Oh, man. They just shoved me through. Don't yeah. care because there's a small little gap between mm -hmm. the there are quite a fair bit of people there. I think there's some tour groups having some briefing around the area, so the wall will become a little bit narrow. Yeah. So they just shove their yeah. way through. Yeah. Never yeah. mind. It's okay. I'm peace. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ultimately, everyone's here to have a good time. So it's like, you know, yeah. I, I try not to let it get to me as well. And then, honestly, honestly, like, at first, when, when they push and shove me, I was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Like, even here, a little bit of rain for the past few days and suddenly everyone's like pushing and shoving each other like that's all it takes to like get people to shove each other around but like I think certain things right we just don't really notice as well like there's so many things so many little um how do I say gestures or like habits that we might not like realize that it's affecting other people like for example right even for ourselves when we were on the train down from Yongfra Yep. Um, we were like kind of goofing around like throwing things uh, around <laughs> each other right so we were trying to like <laughs> I was just trying to chill like this chocolate wrapper maybe that other gave. people like, think that you are not uh, yeah. behaving correctly so actually I noticed someone beside yeah. us look at us and like gave us kind of like the side eye like what the hell yeah. you know we were having a good time and like sometimes we just you know forget about the people around us and like you know what mm. those skiers they've been deprived you know so just I'm just gonna hang back and you know I, not, I not get mad about it. Like there are plenty of people that were already being mad. They got, they got shoved around as well and mm. they weren't happy as well. So it's like you know, whatever. We're just here to enjoy our time. I know. So it's like, you know. I guess that maybe they 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 have very short time in, in this place or in Grindelwald. Mm. They have to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. So, but in the end, after the pushing and shoving, when we finally got up there, right? That was like, whoa. My main thing is actually to feel and touch the mountains this way mm -hmm. that, that's why what I want to go there and do in mm -hmm. a way mm -hmm. not really to climb it but I actually want to feel the mountain with my hands or my feet it's already feeling it but to touch the mountains in that aspect is yeah. a different feeling and to be up there just to soak in the atmosphere there very clear sky good weather and then you can see different mountains and peaks the age of the mountains is, if we compare the age of human beings, is so insignificant. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to achieve. Once I've done that, my goal, achievement, coming to Switzerland or the Swiss Alps, done. Yeah. I think there's one thing that I definitely feel, and we might feel even more when we go to after we go to Austria and stuff like that. Everywhere we go, it's like, there's just a lot more history to this place than, you know, Singapore mm. and yeah there's a there's a magnitude in not just its size but its history yeah I just love Zermatt so much like it's literally got barely a few hours here no, but like, literally from the moment we got here, they literally have custom tiny cars. Like, and like, they have tiny vehicles. It's not just cars, it's just like random tiny vehicles. Yeah. It's so no, interesting. For your information, actually, Zermatt is a car-free town. But so what are those things that we are seeing? Those are specially specialized registered cars to be actually used in Zermatt only. Ah. You can't drive a car or motorcycle into Zermatt. Why is that the case? It just happened to be just made it a rule? Yeah, I think in, in, in Switzerland, some of the towns are also car-free town. So huh. I think they're trying to push electronic, electric vehicles or, you know. But all these registered cars are no, they're not electric. They're yeah, no. going by like... Uh, they, they can limit, they can limit the amount of vehicles or pollution in the town. Mm. That's what I feel that they're trying to do, you see. Yes. Well, then that, I just, that just made me like Zermatt even more now. Yeah, right. I think Sunrise will be actually hitting over the other side. And so... What time is sunrise tomorrow? I'm not sure. You check. <laughs> yeah, I want to check right now. <laughs> we'll see you again. Get something tomorrow morning. Yeah. Uh, First light, 5.28. Sunrise, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is doable. Yeah. 5.28, yeah. 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's go. see it. Ooh, what a freaking view. Yeah, Vienna was just a breath of fresh air. I don't know what about it, but I just really fell in love with the city. I think the whole first day that we had there was also so good. We went to eat that um, sort of outdoor cafe place. Okay. And that was good. Like, that was the first time I had food that wasn't like Bravadier. too salty for me. Bevedere. Like, Bevedere I, don't know, a... I don't know why, but in general, like Swiss food has been like really salty for me. I usually like salty stuff, but like, dang. It's too salty. Like some of the, the schnitzels and like the fries and everything were just so salty. I don't know. But when we got to Vienna, it's like Austria just loves their cream. And I love cream. Like coffee with whipped cream on top. Cake mm. with whipped cream. Mm. Oh. And the ribs were good too. Yeah, certainly the... the people and the environment in Vienna is much more better. Yeah, people yeah. are really friendly too, in general. Yes, yes, I felt that. Yeah. yeah, I think especially so once we've came to the countryside, which is where we are right now, like we had to take a bit of a bus right here, but we got to this little countryside place and you kind of see it in the frame and it's getting kind of warm right now. I'm going to take my jacket off. Do you want to pull up the chair right now? Let's yeah, pull up the chair maybe. right now, actually. Yeah, Let's just good. do it like that. Oof. Hey. There you okay. go. Now it's my turn to sit here. Look uh, at the mountains. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, ever since we got here, it's been so magnificent as well. How do you like the countryside life? Cool. Very nice. <laughs> Quiet. Feel like less people, less pass. Makes yeah. people communicate more because as we see people walk across, mm -hmm. we just say hello to each other, you know? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's because there are less people around here. So when we meet somebody, some like, oh, surprise, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I see a human being. Uh, yeah. yeah, people are definitely more sparse here. Yeah. And everyone's like so friendly. Everyone's nice. How often you get to sit under the sun and see the cloud change. Look at this, the clouds. It changed. You can yeah. see the cloud forming. I think one of the best parts about being in the countryside it's just the quiet. True enough. Yeah, like, I mean not quiet, but I seem like everything is just natural. If we're just quiet right now, all you hear is the rush of the water, the chirping of birds, the crickets. Yes. And then you, you breathe in You and still get birds in Singapore? Yeah. Oh, he's looking at me. He's Hello. looking at me and screaming. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, like, the birds are just like so much more peaceful here. <laughs> And mm. the birds in Singapore are just like hostile. <laughs> They're just like yelling at each other. Yeah. yeah. I find the, the, the nature here is very nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Even just the walk from the town to the Rodoban, right? It was so beautiful too. It was just like a random like walk at the back. Mm. We got to see the mountains. We got to like sort of walk through some of the open fields. And then eventually we got there. Finally, a toboggan that we can actually ride down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow. And then after that, we did mini golf. Ping <laughs> <laughs> pong. We 
yeah, that Thank about wraps it up, I guess. So we head off to the town. And along yeah, the way, we're gonna pass by there to go to the waterfall. Okay, all, all right. right. Yeah, you can actually kind of hear it from a distance. Uh, so from here, we can go to the platform later if you want to, I guess. Hey, like, what? Oh my oh, god. Yeah, coming out. God dang. Last upslope of this trip. Let's go. The, cap the camera never captures just how steep some of these slopes are. I, I, I do feel it's like very special like to to visit places in Europe and yeah, so just much history in one place. Yeah, there's just so much history yeah. in one place like compared to Singapore and, and, and Singapore has like the European style buildings because we were colonized by by Britain for like a period of time. But the Singapore history is so short. But yeah, exactly, it's so short. 60 like sixty years of all, most of these cathedrals and like five hundred years old. Yeah, exactly. It's older than the entire existence of Singapore where Singapore was just like grass and dirt basically, right? Yeah. These cathedrals so were plus. already there. People were already going to it. And, and it's just yeah, it's something special to see. And like, you know, Europe is like sometimes it's a bit like eh, a bit run down, a bit like, you know, it, it's a like bit history. history. Yeah, but the history, history but when you go there and when you experience Yeah, it. when you experience the space. Not just I mean like when I say experience the space, I mean like just being there because like when mm. you see in person it becomes tangible right like versus like when you see in like some medieval film YouTube or like some or YouTube or whatever. <laughs> yeah whatever it's just not the same when you go to some place that has when, when you are standing in place with history and I also felt that like more recently when when we went to Salzburg we went to like mm. the, the, the the cathedral or that 
Sound of Music they, re- they oh, filmed okay. it for yes. the marriage scene. Okay. It's like, well, just standing there and like imagining like back then, this whole okay. group of people which all, almost probably all passed away already. Yeah. Like, all these people, people were were filming there and like, they, they were walking this place and yeah, yeah. it's just, uh, it's just, it's something special. The history that Europe has is, is something else. Alright. <laughs> Oi! Oi! Uh, Inchik! Yeah, it was Inchik, man. You look like Inchik. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, Inchik. Yeah. But I just want to talk about how, like, everywhere we go to, right, mm. you always got that little camera in hand and you're always filming things, right? Mm. So, like... I want to record my first experience in the place. But I want to re- so-called register that into a, a movie or show yeah. that I can review it in the future. Right. So that's my purpose of why I want to frame first. Then after I frame already, then I experience the place. Uh. That's my rationale behind it, basically. Right. Because I don't do after looking at it, uh. I may not find it interesting already. Mm. So when I go into cathedral or go to certain places, I'll just flip on my camera and then I will record it. So if I find it very interesting, I can walk back to the path and mm. walk it again. If I, find it, it's I guess I guess I guess it's like when you film it, right? Mm. You kind of see the place through your camera, and like where your eyes go, your camera is going, right? In a way. Yes. So it's like kind of like how you are perceiving the place. You are recording how you are registering the place in a way. Uh, sometimes I do that also, but after a while, I know that I just hold my camera. I just oh, look at the place. Yeah, you you'll see it. the place, and I just hold my camera. Uh-huh. So for me, it's quite the opposite. Like I mean, when I'm traveling with you, obviously I'm filming you to see how you react. You react and how you <laughs> no not just how you react, but how you behave. Inter in, interact with the space. How you uh, view the space. How like okay. whether you, whether you you see anything cool about the mm. space. But for me, like when I'm traveling on my own and or if I'm visiting a place on my own, I will always just like see the place Experience first. The place first. Yeah. See the area. Yeah. Then I used to to flip out the camera first. But then like, you just take photos, right? And like, for me, it's like, it's the f- I don't have to take everything. My, my perspective okay. is a bit obvious. I don't have to register or like take a, hard, a physical copy of everything that I see. Mm. Your, your, your interpretation is a bit different from me because yeah. my memory is not as good. <laughs> Put it this yeah. way. I, I would easily forget the place if I don't have it shot yeah. or being recorded. In the way. Yeah. So, and I find that that is a... Good way to recall that I've been there and, and I've experienced that place. Mm. That, that's a different perspective of what you're doing. You're looking for shots for, for certain purpose, but I'm not. I am just want to record my experience there. Right. That, that's the purpose of holding up camera first and then start to record mm. the place when I first step into the place. It may not be a perfect shot. It could be a lot of people walking around. Yeah. The lights may not be perfect. It doesn't matter. It's my experience mm. of the first place when I first started the place. Yeah. That's just what I feel. That's yeah. why I flip on my camera first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think for me, it's not about getting a shot, a nice shot for something else. Mm. It's that because if I, for me at least, I only need one photo mm. to bring back all the memories. Like imagine you're flipping you a You have good memories. No, no, no. I mean like, <laughs> well, 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 maybe maybe for some, maybe uh. maybe I'll, I'll feel it more when I'm older or whatever. But like yes. when I, even at this age, I like, when I flip open an old photo book, like maybe when I was a bit older, when I started to have some conscious memory, <laughs> you know, like some of these photos, obviously, yeah, I look yeah, at them like, oh, that happened, but like I have no memory of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, still too young. Yeah, I was still still too young. But okay. there are some photos, like for example, the photo where me and uh, Julian were on the slide. I still remember, like when I see that photo, it reminds it. Like, I'm I'm shot back to that time. I'm shot back to memories of like how we were getting on the slide, how we were moving around. Mm. Like without photos of that, just that one photo in time captured more memory. Like it's like mm. I just need a little prick. To, okay. in, in to, to jog the memory in a way, okay. right? And a nice photo for me is like, what does that? Yeah, it may like, not be the best photo at the point of time, but yeah, it, just it just rings yeah, the bell. It just needs to be a, a good, like, timed photo. And that's like what I'm looking for, right? When, I, when I'm going around mm. and I'm taking a photo of okay. something. For me, it's like, okay. I try to experience the place first mm. or notice the things that I want to notice no, or like, right? see how it is first before I like, okay. What do I, what do I, okay, like, what do I, what do I enjoy from the experience? And okay. then I'm like, okay, those things are in there. I mean, like, maybe sometimes you lose the moment mm. in, in doing that. And I probably lost a few moments in doing that as well. But, like, mm. I'm looking for those special moments that when you watch back, 
captures all the emotions and memories of that time. <laughs> One, two, three, go! So speaking of capturing things, I've printed Wow, Some photos very nice. to commemorate this. So wow, that's me touching the mountains. Oh, that's the day we got to go. Yeah. That's a family, family photo. photo. Metahorn. Us walking. Ah, that's the walking one. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you very yeah, much. Okay. okay. Until our next travels. Yes. Swiss, Swiss engineering. You like it now?